A scandal nearly two decades in the making is developing today. An independent investigator says nearly 1,500 athletes at the University of North Carolina coast through classes, many without professors, to keep them in the game. This investigation points fingers directly at counselors involved in the academic support program for student athletes. Five of these counselors knew exactly what was going on, and they took affirmative steps uh, to take advantage of them. They steered a number of their student athletes to these classes because, specifically because they were easy, specifically because they were, in their terms, GPA boosters. Ten on your sides, Rico Bush joins us in the studio now to explain what could happen today. And Rico, it's not just athletes that are involved. We're talking about some other folks who are in big trouble today. Well, Don Katie, four staffers have already been fired. Five staffers are being disciplined because of their involvement with the academic fraud. Now, because of the damage to report that NCAA could impose harsh penalties on a range of the university sports programs, the eight-month investigation revealed 3,100 students nearly had Half of them, athletes, took paper classes that required no teacher and only a research paper graded by a secretary. The administrative assistant gave high grades A's and B's regardless of the quality of their work. According to the report, the African American Studies Department chair and another staffer ran the program. There was an organization, a very complex organization, that needed oversight at every step of the way, and it didn't exist. The scandal spans 18 years from 1993 to 2011. This is the third report that has come out on it following investigations from UNC and the NCAA. Now, in light of this investigation, the NCAA and the school say they would review the report. No word on if or when the penalties would be imposed. Rico Bush, tenure side.